Hi guys, this is Lila. Welcome to my channel Lila Web Dev. So we are learning about the HTTP client and its issues, right? So now let's try to learn the another concept. While we are trying to make a GET request and all those things in the HTTP client, what are the different types of uh, GET requests that are allowed? So let's try to see. So now in Angular, the HTTP client service makes it easy to work with the HTTP request by default. HTTP client assumes that the server will return the JSON data. However, if you are working with non-JSON APIs, that returns other types of data like plain text or binary data, you need to specify the response type option to tell HTTP client what kind of response you are trying to expect it. So now let's try to go through an example. So how we can work with different types of data. So now let's try to understand explanation of different types of response data. I want to explain you one by one. So now here, let's go to the, I will try to click on. So here, understanding the response type. The response type option lets you specify the expected response data type for your HTTP request. Here are the possible values for this one. So first one is the JSON request. The default, it parses the response as JSON and returns it as an object. This is the default one. This is commonly used for APIs returning JSON data. So next one is the text, returns the response as a plain string, useful for APS returning the text data, Ex example HTML or the plain text. So next one is the array buffer, returns the raw bytes of the response as an array buffer. This is used for binary data such as images, audio or video files. And the last one is the blob, returns the response as a blob object. This is also used for binary data, particularly when downloading the files. So these are the different uh, return types when, when you are trying to do the get request. So here we will try to learn about the different types, how we can do it. So just I will try to give a simple example. So now first one, so what we can do it. So here setting the response type as a literal, since the value of the response type determines the type of the type written by the HTML kind, it must be specified as a literal type, not a generic string. So TypeScript knows exactly what type to expect. So here this happens automatically if you provide the response type in line as a part of the request options. However, if you are using a variable for the request options means specify res response type as explicitly as a literal using as a constant. So I will try to explain you this one. So in this example, we will try to use an angular rate in component. So demonstrate how to do the JSON data, plain text and also the image also. So now in this example, we will create a component that fetches the JSON data. So here for this one, what I will try to do. I will create a component data feature component and we'll try to use that component. So now I'm doing this one all. <coughs> so in our app.component.html file, so I will remove this one all and I will use app hyphen data hyphen feature. So maybe this one is still creating, let it create. Here, it's still creating, let it create. So now here I will be using app hyphen data hyphen feature so this is the component and here in our app.component.ts file so i will inject the data feature data feature component so i have imported this component also let's go into this component and try to do the concept so here what i will try to do it is so in, in our app type i will be closing this one all let's open this data feature component so here i will be having data feature component.ts file and also data fetcher component.html file. So here in this one, let's say that I will be having data fetcher. So different types of data fetching. The first one is the div. And here I will be having the button. So fetch JSON data. So this one, this one will fetch the JSON data. And another one will have one div. And here also you will have one button. Fetch the uh, text data. Okay, I will be having another button do and here I will be having a button fetch image data. Okay, so these are all the different types of images we, uh, we may fetch thing which we will be trying to do. First one we will implement the click event. So click uh, fetch JSON data. Sorry. So this is the method which we are trying to use it and here in this one so now here we are having and we need to import the common module and also the um, http client and right so now here i will be injecting uh, constant http client is equal to sorry http client is equal to inject of 
HTTP client. Okay, sorry, we should not import it here. Font should be imported. Fine. So we have included. So now here fetch JSON data. Sorry, fetch JSON data. So this is the fetch JSON data. And for this fetch JSON data, what I will try to do? So I will use the same thing post slash one which we are having the example, right? I will try to use the same thing. So here I can use in such a way that this dot HTTP and here we can use HTTP and that one also it's a private HTTP dot get off and here I will be using this one and that's it. So now here if you want you can have it something like JSON data JSON data of any so I will try to keep it as any only and here we will be having it's a dollar thing so we can have a dollar and here I will use JSON data dollar is equal to and this one will be this dot and now if I try to use this one means so how can I use it here so here I can use if do ng if json data dollar of async as json data and here I can use the pre I will use something like json data and here I will use the async that's it so now we are using as json data and here we are using this one that's it right oh sorry still I am using async we will use it as json so fine so now here if I try to refresh this page so we are we should be able to get this one right so what is the problem we are trying to do it maybe I am not running anything so let's try to stop this one and rerun it again maybe sometimes the problem will come and here in our app run.html and still we are using this app data feature maybe I haven't refreshed it let's try to see the output for this one so fine now we are able to see this one so if I click on this fetch json data automatically we are able to fetch the json data so fine now let's try to fetch the text data so for this one what I have did is in our public folder so I have created a test.txt file and here we are having a test data so let's go to here and when I click on this one sorry when I click on this one so that is nothing but here so I will use the click is equal to fetch text data okay so I will be using this fetch text data and here in this one I will use the same thing fetch text data and here in this fetch text data what I will try to do it is so here this dot http dot um, get request only so we are all dealing with the get request only and here you can use um, what is that one uh, test.txt file so we are using this file test.txt file and uh, let's try to implement this one okay so here we will be using text data okay text data of um, text data of any so this one also any so this time i will try to use the subscribe thing so then you will be able to understand it very clearly so this is also another way so you will be getting the data and here you can use this dot test data text data is equal to data that's it so now let's try to go to the fetch text data here and at the bottom i will try to do ng if ng if you can use a thread if also not a problem so here text data is there means then i will try to show the text data that's it text data so let's try to see whether we can able to get the output or not so if you try to see the output for this one so we are not able to get the output and in the console let's see whether we are able to make a request or not so in the network if you try to see so i am clicking on this one i am able to get the data so request url when i am trying to make it so let's try to make it bigger so request url when i am trying to make it so we are able to get it but the request the thing is the accepting is the the content type is expecting is the uh, what i want to say is json data but here you are getting it as a text data so that's why we are not able to show this one so now see here so error so what it is telling syntax error expected t as this is, this is not a valid json entry so that means it is expecting it as a json entry so this one is expected as a json entry somewhere you will be able to see so here accept application slash json so content type you will be having so maybe i am unable to find it so fine so now this is expecting as a text data so now we need to send an extra parameter that is nothing but response type so here i will be sending the response type to this one so here the response type is of type text that's it so now if you try to see it and here so now let's try to click on this one so here you will be able to see this is the 
text data and another one is the image data so here you can use the image data let's go to the here HTML so here we are having this one right so here I will be doing this click is equal to fetch image data okay so we are fetching the image data and if I click on this one so here I will be using the fetch image data <coughs> and the same thing so I will try to use the same thing and here you will be having the image data okay of type any this one is also but here this time this, this should be array buffer okay so this should be array buffer and here you will be having the image data and this one will be I already have an image in my local so I will be trying to get that image image dot png okay let's try to see the output for this one so if I try to see the output for this one if I click on this one so if I click on this one image image dot png png sorry it should be images dot png I think maybe I don't know so let's try to refresh this page so what has happened uh, yeah so now yeah here you are able to get the image so now the image data we are able to get the value so now how can I display the data is so if you want to get this one means so here you can show something like uh, div So here you will be having ng if ng if image data is there means then you here you can check the uh, image data dot byte length so you can use this byte length now if you try to see the output for this one so if you click here so you will be able to see the byte length so for this one you will be able to see the byte length so now you are not able to get it so now let's try to refresh this one again so fine let's try to get it one another time last time so i will be clicking on this one yeah 3051 so this is the byte data so if you want to console means you can console this image data and you can check it so this is how we will be doing different types of http requests like text file if you want to get it means like this you will be getting if you want to get the images data means you can get it like this so this is how we will be getting it hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.